welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Claire and this is Polly put the petal on and today I've got um, a Primark haul for you primarily uh, a Primark haul for you but I've got a couple of bits from Aldi and I've got one thing from Asda George Asda too um, so I'll get that out of the way and then we'll get on with the, the Primark haul there's a couple of bits missing from the Primark haul because we've wrapped them up and sent them away um, and actually my son literally dipped the bag and took one of the things he said you know i need to wear it now so he took that off which i bought those snuddies um 20 pounds each um got them i got it in a small to medium you know um because even for when you know the the adults i was buying for were large because they are huge but my son says they are super cozy and 20 pounds well spent so that's good isn't it um, so yeah, if you are considering buying one of those from, um, did I say Aldi? If, you, if you're if you considering buying one of those from Primark, do pick yourself one up because apparently they are fantastic. And I think I've got a couple of things in this bag to return. And I think what I'll do is I will pick one up for myself, actually. So um, from George Asda, you can see some chips on that box there. It's um, an air fryer for my son. It's a 3.2 litre. It was 44.99. I'm going to tip you down because I can't lift it up. It's got its interior basket. It's um, It's got its temperature and it's, it's on a dial. It's not digital. Um, 3.2 litre. That's it there. Um, and it's got variable, variable temperature control, remo removable dishwasher safe basket, 30 minute timer with auto shut off. And it's got a two year warranty. And like I say, it's three, two litre. They did have um, a smaller one and we considered that, but it was too small, if you know what I mean. I can't remember what the litre was on it. Um, it was too small. For, for my strapping lad, he'll be able to get something in there. It's to take to university because he hasn't got a minute to live, you know. He, and he waits until he's right on top of hunger. Um, and then he hasn't got a minute to wait to, to, for things to cook. So I thought if he's got that, you know, he can throw something in and uh, walk away, you know. And they cook in next to no time, don't they? You know, well, mine definitely does. Um, I did a beautiful roast pork in mine yesterday. The crackling, it's the best crackling I've ever made on my, you know, uh, over the oven. Um, I've ever made on on a piece of pork. It was absolutely delicious. It really was. So, um, so we've picked him that up and I'm going to move to Aldi now and then we'll go on to Primark. I hope you're all really well, guys. I really do. Um, it's lovely to see you and thank you for joining me today. Um, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'll be coming back with my home tour. My, um, it's not a home tour. I'm going to show you the little bit of decoration in the kitchen. I'm going to show you my hallway um, and I'm going to show you my um, living room, and namely my tree, really. I'm l really loving my tree this year. Um, so if you're welcome to join me for that and uh, yeah I'd really appreciate you coming back and having a look um, so I picked up this little bird feeder for my mum I've done a little um, hamper it's a mixture of all kinds of things to be honest with you it's got biscuits, bird feeders um, sarsaparilla cordial it's got all sorts <laughs> it's got all sorts of random stuff in it um, but I think she'll like it so it's a lovely owl decorative bird feeder. And I think this was about four pounds, you know. Um, I think he's absolutely lovely. And all you do is unscrew that and then, it, you know, you take that off and you fill it with the nuts, the bird nuts. And um, yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. It's quite, and it would be nuts, I suspect, because, you know, if you're going to put seed in there, they're going to fall out. So yeah, put your nuts in there, your bird nuts. So and my mum loves the birds. That's where I get my little birds from. Um, I also picked up from Aldi, picked up this. Now, this was four ninety nine. It's for a little person and it's a pottery studio. Create your own pottery studio. It includes air dry clay, two shaping tools, six ceramic paints and a paintbrush, plus clay, clay mazing book with 13 makes in it. 
I thought that was absolutely fabulous. A lovely little gift. Shows you there, you know, what what the possibilities are, you know. I just thought it was a lovely gift for for a little person, nice and creative. Um, and so that was four ninety nine. So now we'll move on to Primark. Um, oops. So I went into the home department and I really had to refrain. We went to the Manchester, the Manchester branch. Haven't been there for a number of years, um, but I really did have to exercise restraint. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I picked up these two packs of um, gold fire firefly they're called firefly lights yeah fire but they're just those micro lights on the on the wire pick them up in gold um two pounds a pack because i did i did need just another well i needed another pack to be honest so i've picked those up um i needed some clips for my hair some of these have been gifted to me i just chose them you know so they'll be in my christmas box really um so I picked up two clips, they were £1.50. I picked up a pack of, 12 pack of clips. I need these six larger ones as opposed to those smaller ones there. And they were a pound. It's, you know, when I do a half and half, not so much a half and half, and I put my fringe up. Um, and I picked up this Wonder Lash. That was three pounds. Tried and tested. Absolutely love this. I do. Um, and I, I was looking around. I thought, oh, will I try another one? And then I thought, no, because you don't know what size the wand is or anything like that. Stick with what you know. Um, and I really do rate it. I've used it for a couple of years now, but I needed another one. So I picked that up and it was three pounds. Um, I picked up these fur lined leggings now they, they didn't come in a package the lady said to me these have flown off the shelves i thought i'm not surprised you know it, it was freezing the day we went it was last thursday or friday friday i think mary took me with her two adult children um but we we were on a time limit we needed to get back for her smaller little girl um so the lady said to me, these are flying off the shelves and there was only two pairs there. Now, I, one pair has gone, but there was no packaging. But, you know, I, I thought, well, I'm going to have them in anyway. And when I got them to the till, the lady said, these are non-returnable because there's no packaging. However, you will get a reduction on them. So they re reduced them to, they should have been £7 a pair and I got them for £5 a pair. Um, really lovely, nice and thick. I've had them before. Um, but when I was painting, I wore, you know, when I was painting my whole stairs and landing, I wore them and so they're covered in paint. So I needed some more. Um, and they'll save me putting the heating on, you know, they'll keep me nice and toasty. Um, so yeah, pick those up. So that's worth knowing, isn't it? If you do find something, don't just resist it because the packaging isn't on it. Because once you get it to the till, it will be reduced for you. Um, I've picked up some basic um tops so i've got a white one this is used this is sorry this is made using recycled plastic and i could tell but um not that it was made by using recycled plastic but i could tell the material has changed on this it's just one of those long sleeve this is a slouch one long sleeve white top great for layering up super for layering up but then also brilliant for those in between months you know when you're in between um summer and autumn and uh winter and spring absolutely fabulous um or spring and summer and then i just picked up a same plain basic top but it's a t-shirt so no long sleeves on that um they feel really really nice that t-shirt was two pounds and i think the top the long sleeve top was three pounds um while i was finding those leggings with the the fur line leggings there was a lady and because i was looking along the 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 shelf of the leggings and there was a lady and she said oh you see these no clearly she could see that i was menopausal <laughs> And she said to me, well, I'm not menopausal. I am in the menopause because I've had it all taken away. And so she said to me, these are absolutely fabulous, these. 
she said I, I've I bought a pair last week she said now I'll come back and I bought another five pairs I said I don't know what she said the menopause leggings I thought menopause leggings and actually Primark are doing quite a range on menopause you know they had t-shirts knickers vests leggings um I don't know because I hadn't got the time to browse so much or even read what they were all about so anyway on that lady's recommendation I picked a pair of the these are menopause shaping leggings and they are breathable cooling fabric wicking and quick dry I don't know what wicking means temperature regulating um and antibacterial finish and I thought well I'm going to give them a go they feel really really nice I picked them up in a medium and they were 10 pounds and I'm going to give them a go and see having said that guys I'm not really a day flush hot flush person it's night time that I get my hot flushes I don't know about anybody else you know night time you know I do I don't even get so much yeah, I do. I do. I sweat. <laughs> I was just trying to convince myself that it doesn't happen, but it does. Um, and then I picked up some indigo blue jeans. Uh, super high waist, skinny, indigo. I love the colour of those. You can't go wrong with Primark jeans. You know, uh, £10 a pair. I think if you really want a, a nice trouser or a, a nicer pair of jeans, then that's fabulous. But for me, Primark, they, they're just the ticket and they're just £10 a pair. And I picked those up in a size 14. Lovely colour. I really love the colour. Nice, a nice deeper blue for winter. Um, Again, picked up some, and these are in a medium, 12, 14. Um, a nice cream pair of joggers. On there, the logo says kindness counts. I didn't pick them up for that. I picked them up for the colour. And they were longer in leg than the other joggers that were on the table. What I did notice in Primark was there was a hell of a lot of jogging suits, you know. Um, now, I'm not really one for joggers. I wouldn't go out in joggers, you know. I would wear them in the house, but I wouldn't go out in them because I don't feel dressed enough. Um, you know, I'd put my £10, <laughs> my £10 pair of jeans on. Um, but in the house, and I thought, I thought, oh yeah, you know, for for comfort, a pair of nice cream joggers, maybe that white long sleeve top, and a and the lovely beige cardigan that I got from Shein this summer, um, on the turn of summer, wasn't it? Um, I thought, yeah, I'll 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 get those, and they were. Doesn't say. Just one tip while I look for the price. They were seven pounds, guys. So that's that's quite a good buy, isn't it? Seven pounds for a pair of a pair of joggers. There is pockets, and it's just a um, elasticated um, bottom. Uh, I really would like a cuffed bottom. You know, I like a cuffed bottom on a jogger. Um, I picked up some um, a, some roll necks. Now these aren't roll necks, but they are high necked. Um, these are a gift so they were eight pounds each I've picked up one in this lovely um, neutral beige colour I would say absolutely lovely that because it'll go with anything really won't it because it's nice and neutral and like I say it's a high it's they come to about here so you've got this bit covered you know so it, it's nice and warm I know because I've got some myself um, so I picked this one up and these were requested, um, you know, by the person that I'm gifting them to. They were, were requested and so that's why, I, you know, I've, I've bought them. So I picked up that one and then I picked up this pink colour. I've got one this colour. Um, so I picked up that pink colour, exactly the same, exactly the same material. They are made using sustainable fibres um, and I picked them both up in a medium, which is 12, 14 um, and they were just eight pounds. Um, so yeah, for a nice little um, Christmas Christmas gift. 
I also picked up um, a black roll neck for myself. These are quite short in body, these are. I don't know why. Um, but again, I got it in a 12-14. Just, there's nothing to say about it. I've already got one of these, but I wanted another one. I wanted a spare. Um, because I love a black roll neck at, at uh, in the winter. I'm renowned for a black roll neck, actually, in the winter. Um, been wearing them for years. They're just easy to wear. They're warm also. You know, you can layer them up so you can put a long sleeve basic, you know, a long sleeve basic top underneath, even a t-shirt underneath that, and then put that on. Um, and you look put together, I must admit, but also, you know, you're keeping yourself warm with your, with your layers and stuff. So they're dead good for layering up. You could even then layer up again and put a cardigan over the top. Um, they're just fabulous and easy to wear. I love Primark for basic stuff like this, don't you? What's your go-to thing at Primark? What do you always reach for in Primark? I always go for those basic t-shirts, the basic long sleeve tops and these basic uh, roll necks. I always go for them um, because they're so easy. They're so easy to wear and yet they look good as well because um, you can lay them up, you can lay them down, you know, you... you, you you can wear them as standalone or you you know you can wear them to enhance what you're wearing in the first place um so i then picked up now on the coat hanger coat hanger on the hanger it said um that this was a medium and in actual fact it's not it's an extra large so this is going to have to go back but this is a gentleman's roll neck a black roll neck um, it's really, really nice, you know, when I, the, the knit on it is just a, is just a very, let me look at that. Yeah, it's a very fine, plain knit. And, you know, I thought to myself, this would be all right for me, you know, in the men's department, because they're nice and loose. They're not, they're not, um, skin tight they are nice and loose so when i take this back i might even pick myself one up in the in the men's um absolutely lovely a little bit more comfortable i think but again like i say this is i've picked it up in the extra large because on the coat hanger on the hanger it said medium but it's not a medium it's an extra large so that has to go back um i picked this up uh it just, I didn't show you at the very beginning. I picked this concealer up, which is the PS range. Um, Conceal and Illuminate, Under Eye Concealer, Vitamin E and Ahoba um, Seed Oil. And it, I picked it up in the beige and it was £3. Now, I think that's a dupe for the L'Oreal one, do you? Or maybe it's even a dupe for something else, something, you know, a, a little... Um, if anybody knows, do let me know. It doesn't make any odds to me. I've picked it up because, you know, I don't use concealer. Um, but I have broken veins around. My daughter gave me these, you know, when I was carrying her. Um, broken veins around my nostrils there. Just there. And, and in my nostril there. And so, you know, a concealer. If my daughter does my makeup and she's a beaut, she's a qualified beauty therapist if she does my makeup she will conceal those i never bother it doesn't matter to me um and she conceals i've got dark it's quite dark in there either side of my nose she conceals that and i must admit i do like the effect it's just <laughs> i don't do it um but I, I saw this and i thought for three pounds i'm going to give it a go so if anybody knows you know if it's any good well i'm going to try it anyway so by the time you perhaps answered me i've probably tried it out by now i should have tried it before i came on so i could have let you know good night um and then last but not least guys i picked up these boots now these were a gift to me um from a family member however these have got to go back i absolutely love them they are gorgeous they're a, a lovely boot lovely toe as well lovely chunky tall boot but i underestimated the length of the boot they're an over knee boot 
and they just not they just don't suit they really don't suit you know i mean they'd suit um a younger person they're not suiting me you know i think i need an under under the knee boot not an over the knee boot but i absolutely love that style i really do that chunky tall boot and i haven't i haven't got i haven't had a pair of tall boots for a long long time these were only 23 i think it was 23 pounds yeah 23 pounds and i picked them up in a size five i'm trying not to put them on the table um they are absolutely gorgeous there's the toe it's a really lovely toe as well isn't it um the actual boot itself is really quite comfortable but um this this bit is quite clingy around your leg um and it just wouldn't go over my knee for some reason um so but if it would have it wouldn't have suited so i've now found some online they, i'm going to take these back um and i've now found found some online that you know when these have been when the money's been refunded for those i'll i'll get those and that will be my my christmas gift off a family member so so that's it guys that is my primark haul like i say i'll be back tomorrow uh with my christmas bits to show you and then that's my last video up until christmas i'm going to take some time my daughter's back thursday and um i, I can imagine she's going to be in bed half a day because she'll be running jamaica time and um yeah so when she gets she lands at half past six by the time she gets home she'll she'll probably go to bed and then i'm going to do a bit of baking with kim that day um so when she gets up she's got some nice um i'm making her some snickerdoodles so um snickerdoodle cookies um so and some gingerbread so i'm baking with kim and then so i'm just going to spend some quality time really um so yeah i hope you'll join me uh tomorrow and i hope you'll give me a thumbs up for this video and um click the subscribe button if you haven't <laughs> don't don't know what happened there if you haven't already you know it would be lovely to have you join the channel it really really would do take care have a lovely rest of the evening and i will see you all tomorrow take care guys bye